People in parts of the Maritimes limbering up perhaps this morning for a monumental task at hand, plowing, clearing, removing an entire winter's worth of snow that fell in just a matter of days. We have team coverage this morning with Brett Ruskin in Halifax and Sheehan Desjardins from Charlottetown to give us the picture on the island. But we're going to begin with Brett and the story from Nova Scotia. Brett, the attention is not just the snowfall, it's the removal of all that snow now. I can't see it over your shoulder, but... Oh, there it is. There it is. Now I've got you in the wide shot. That snowman is probably the happiest figure in all of Halifax right now, right? You know, uh, snowmen don't have to do any shoveling, but their lives are a little bit short-lived. So the, the, there's, there's a trade-off there. But yes, first snowman that I've seen this winter, and so I wanted to put it on TV. Uh, that is kind of the, the good news here. The bad news is the snow is still sticking around. The amount of snow that we have here in Halifax, three times that in Sydney. So about 40 to 50 centimeters here, up to uh, 100 to 150 centimeters have fallen in the Sydney area. So the call for help went out yesterday. Call uh, has been responded to by New Brunswick, by Prince Edward Island. They are sending equipment and crews so that, in theory, snow clearing operations could go 24 hours a day. Here is Premier of Nova Scotia, Tim Houston, talking about the help that Nova Scotia is getting. New Brunswick as well has, uh, has provisioned, I think, three three of the kind of the double winged uh, huge, huge plows and uh, and six operators so that they can come down here and go 24 hours. Just keep just keep rolling. Uh, Prince Edward Island digging out themselves as well, but I know they've always been there to help as well. So, so our our neighboring provinces and the federal government will will be there. But look, we still know it's going to take days. In addition to other provinces, the federal government also helping out with equipment coming down from the Cape Breton Highlands National Park. They are used to clearing out lots of snow from the highlands up there. They will be helping out in the Sydney area as well. The Coast Guard offering their assistance as well. The federal government tasking the Coast Guard to be on the ready if there are any emergency evacuations required in areas that haven't been cleared yet. If people need to get out for emergency reasons, they will have equipment and staff on standby. As for the overall uh, uh, kind of uh, response from other people as well. We are hearing that there was this uh, case where there was an apartment where people were living on the main floor of an apartment building. The snow bashed in that window from all of the force and the pressure of the snow. So people's uh, living rooms and bedroom was full of snow. We also heard from all kinds of different stories from all around Cape Breton of people really coping and dealing with all of this snow as the cleanup continues. Heather. Brett, thank you very much. Now let's look at Prince Edward Island. Here's Charlottetown, the capital, and look what the plows have done. Just trying to open up some lanes. That huge, long wall, really, of snow piled up right through the center of the capital. It's the biggest snowfall on the island since March of 2015. And although the snowfall itself has stopped, obviously from those pictures, there is a lot of work yet to do. Let's hear from Sheehan Desjardins with more on the cleanup story in Charlottetown. There is snow everywhere. Some major roads are still just one lane. Even driving to work this morning, you could see that snow piled high on both sides of the roads, really giving you a sense of just how much snow there is to clean up. So in Charlottetown, it's about 60 centimeters, but on eastern sides of the island, it's more than 80. So cleanup does continue. There was lots of plows out and still are in Charlottetown. Now secondary or provincial plow drivers were pulled off of those secondary roads on parts of the province late last night to give them some time to rest. Most are back out, but we're being told that there are still some roads that aren't open. There's also blowing snow in those areas. So if you do have to get out today, it's really important to be driving for those conditions. She and I was showing pictures yesterday of uh, one of our colleagues there who actually <laughs> snowshoed into work yesterday. There was so much snow in Charlottetown. Definitely not a normal commute. So how long is it going to take for everything to get back to normal? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. Um, there's still lots of closures and lots of delays today. Um, a by-election was supposed to happen on Monday in District 19, Borden, Kinkora. That got pushed to Tuesday, and then that's been pushed again till Wednesday. Now, schools are also still closed. That includes UPEI and Holland College. There are sidewalks that haven't even been touched. I will say yesterday, it was cool to see all these neighbors out helping each other dig out from the storm. But in terms of when things are going to get back to normal, I think we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Sheehan, thank you very much. Sheehan Desjardins with the uh, Prince Edward Island story from Charlottetown.